Welcome to another day in the matrix. Today we're going to focus on the three things you need to know if you're invested in XRP. We're going to avoid all the static and noise and focus solely on what matters most. And if you're a member of our community, then you know here on this channel we've been making some of the most profitable trades on XRP going all the way back to 2021. So you know we're not playing any games around here. I could sense the XRP community is getting sick and tired of the lies and the hopium, so this video is going to clear up all of that confusion. And if you're new here at Waters Above, we're empowering you to unlock your infinite potential with esoteric investing by combining gamatria, numerology, and astrology with technical analysis to understand these markets and become a more profitable investor. So the first thing you need to know if you're invested in XRP is that the SEC versus Ripple case does not matter as much as you might think. And the XRP bull run is still in the cards even with this case getting dragged out longer. I know this is controversial, but it's important that you keep an open mind and focus on the truth and not get sucked into the cyclone of distractions. One of my favorite quotes, everything popular is wrong. Oscar Wilde. And over the past three years, it's become popular to believe that the Ripple case being over would lead to a huge appreciation in the XRP price. And perhaps some of you might remember the video that I put out a couple months ago in August titled The XRP Case Is Not Over. That was not clickbait. I was actually warning of the likelihood of the SEC appealing at the exact time frame they ended up appealing, which was on the October 2nd solar eclipse. And I show in that video the significance of those dates between October 2nd and October 4th tied specifically to Ripple and XRP using Gematria numerology and the Hebrew calendar. And because here we focus on esoteric investing, this is why I was confident that this wasn't over yet and why I wasn't throwing a party even after the final judgment was granted by Annalisa Torres on August 7th. And that warning I gave out in that video is exactly why you hit that subscribe button below so you can get the truth of what actually runs these markets to become a more profitable investor. So when we go over this XRP chart, let's do a quick play by play considering the significant events during this ongoing SEC versus Ripple case. As many of you are aware, the case started back in the end of 2020 in late December, bringing XRP down to under 20 cents. And for those who have my crypto mastermind course, you would have seen the course lesson where I was actually filming during the absolute lows after Christmas that year. I was so excited seeing XRP on a discount like that. That was the best Christmas present I got that year. And during that moment at the start of the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit, I had zero fear and I bought that dip because I knew that it was all theater. And to me, all I saw was an opportunity. And as I say often, buy the blood in the streets or buy the boredom, sell the excitement and you always win. And buying that correction on XRP turned out to be pretty life changing because I launched my channel shortly after that moment and shared publicly that I'd be taking profits on XRP around $1.50 with sell limit orders staggered around $1 to $1.86, with a majority of those orders settled around $1.40 and $1.50. And boy, when I told the world I was doing that, I got called every name you could imagine. No one could believe I was quote unquote, taking profits so low. But what most failed to realize was, first off, my average entry on XRP was 18 cents. And even more important, I knew the system that runs this market and it's Gamatria numerology and astrology. And I used the code of XRP and Ripple to design my exit strategy. I was confident that $1.40 to $1.50 would hit because of the Gamatria of XRP giving me 14 and 15. Again, 140 or 150, you drop the zero in the rules of numerology and you end up with 14 and 15. And here you have it in the code. And I considered the target of $1.76 and $1.86 because Ripple in Gamatria gives me the 76 and 86. In Gamatria, and a little bit more advanced, remember that the number one is not a true number. It's a state of consciousness along with zero. And I knew this, so I throw that neutral one in front of these numbers, and I have a range now of $1.27, $1.27. 
32, $1.40, which also aligns with the gematria of XRP I just showed you moments ago, and then I have $1.76 and $1.86. And just like I prefer to DCA into position with a minimum of five entries, I practice the same for my sell limit orders when I'm de-risking or taking profits and utilizing esoteric investing. I literally nailed all of those targets within one week, and this was the highest that XRP has been since. Utilizing that system, it literally changed my life. And I learned so much during that time. Uh, but if I can narrow it down even to just a single statement of what I learned, it would be create a plan and trade your plan. Don't let anyone with limiting beliefs get in your head. And as long as your plan is profitable, be grateful for those profits when they don't, uh, you know, and I mean, a lot of the time we get so greedy. So don't let greed distract you from your plan that you prepared again. Trade your plan and never let your emotions trade for you. And I bring this up because this all circles back to the first thing you need to know as an XRP investor, which is the SEC versus Ripple case does not matter as much as you think. And that's an undeniable fact when you look at these charts. And when we look back to July of last year, when XRP was officially deemed not a security, and we see XRP is actually 50% lower than where it was back in the 2021 alt season, well, we have a problem. Of course, there was a huge win for Ripple, and it was supposed to be a huge win for the XRP investors, but it turns out that's not the case. XRP was barely able to get above a dollar back in July 2023, and it was actually even 50% uh, lower than where it was um, from this uh, moment back in April 2021, and it actually corrected an additional 50% after one month later, it was no, no longer deemed a security. Again, another red flag. Then we get the final judgment when about a year later, we are even lower in price after this ruling, 70% lower than where we were back in April 2021 peak. And please know this is not FUD. I am not trying to get you to be fearful or feel that you made a bad choice with your investments, but maybe some of you remember last year in April, and May of 2023, before the July ruling, when I said I was going to de-risk my XRP between 80 to 90 cents, and I went ahead and did that, then July rolls around and XRP is no longer deemed a security, we swiped up to 92 cents in a single day, and it hasn't been higher since. This was, again, another incredibly profitable trade on an asset that I know exactly how it moves after studying its chart for years. Again, when I see an opportunity, I take it regardless of what anyone else thinks. Because to me, profits are profits, and I'm not going to let greed get the best of me. I have my system, and it works incredibly well for me and our community. And over in our mastermind community at patreon.com slash waters above, I actually share live updates whenever I am buying or selling any of my positions, as I just showed you a moment ago. And that's just one of the many perks that's included with the membership over there. And actually, this Sunday, I will be releasing a new podcast over on my Patreon dedicated to all the projects that I'm personally invested in. And I'll be covering over 20 charts and sharing my updated portfolio and investment thesis in that new podcast. And in the meantime, if you join, you'll immediately unlock access to both my entire Red Pill podcast and live stream archive. It's over 300. 150 exclusive posts, making that membership absolutely packed with value. And I'm looking forward to catching you over there this Sunday, where I'll be going over my investments with you. Now, the second thing you need to know if you're invested in XRP is the reason why XRP did so well here in March into April of 2021. And it has everything to do with Bitcoin going into price discovery, which is what leads to an alt season. And it's during the alt season that XRP has its best performance. So we're going to be looking at this chart over here that I designed. And of course, we have the recent example that we were just talking about of the 2021 alt season, where XRP actually did a 10x from this start of the SEC lawsuit to April 14th, 2021. Meanwhile, uh, when looking at today's price action, we're much lower 
of course, and the case is supposedly over, uh, even with the appeal that we have. But we're not in an alt season right now, and Bitcoin is not in price discovery yet either. But when Bitcoin is in price discovery, and when we are in an alt season, we saw what it did back in the earlier part of 2021. So that's very important to take note of. But something to mention about that, we're very close to this moment here. And I'm not just saying that to hype you up. I have the proof in the charts, and I've been proving it month after month here on this channel. We're very close, and this is where you need to pay attention because something I've been talking about for months is the next phase of this bull run with Bitcoin dominance heading towards 60%. And as far as I checked out today, Bitcoin dominance actually continued up and hit 59%. So this is a good sign. We're getting close. And when Bitcoin cements a macro candle close above 71K, we should be off to the races. And right now, Bitcoin's around 68K. As I film, we're within about 5% away from that target of 71K. And Bitcoin dominance is about 1% away from so showing the signs of Bitcoin uh, price discovery incoming. After all, it's October, and I've been warning you all about this particular month the entire year, that after the October eclipse season, we should see Bitcoin finally breaking out into price discovery. And since tomorrow is the almost lunar eclipse on October 17th and the last eclipse of the year, and also the last eclipse all the way until March 2025 this gives us a window of time between now and february 2025 to see expansion in the crypto market and that also desired alt season so i quickly want to show you the bitcoin chart back in 2017 right over here and compare it to where xrp was during that exact same time and you'll see during april 2016 2017 excuse me is when bitcoin started to break out into true price discovery and by may 2017 it was confirmed so if we keep may 1st 2017 in mind and we check back in with the xrp chart may 1st is pretty much the time frame where the entire crypto market started breaking out now it was definitely a lot different of a world back then regarding the economic conversation but not so different although yeah there are definitely things that are going on now that we need to consider like war and definitely hyperinflation layoffs artificial intelligence robotics etc we keep all of that in mind of course but just looking at things based solely on price action we can see that it was about april may that we saw this explosive move for xrp this was a violent breakout of almost five thousand percent in a little under two months and of course it went even higher into the start of 2018 which is where i'm marking the top or one phase for this last cycle and that's what we're moving into next and what would push us out of this horizontal trading range that I've marked as phase five, it's this range between 45 cents and 75 cents, would be Bitcoin breaking into price discovery and closing a weekly candle above 71K and then ideally heading up into 75,000 and higher. Coupled with Bitcoin dominance breaking above 60% and heading towards 65%. So I gave you the targets to look out for then basically the higher bitcoin goes the more explosive the alt season is and xrp would benefit from that 1 million times more than any updates with the sec versus ripple lawsuit that's the truth and the truth is sometimes hard to swallow but the truth sets you free and if you're here because you seek the truth go ahead hit that like button show some love in the comment section below i would love for you to share your truth in the comments i'm looking forward to reading what you have to share with us we welcome open minds here and it's always great to hear your perspective now the third and final thing you need to know if you're an xrp investor is that you really need to have a dialed in exit strategy see the reason i've been so successful trading xrp is because i took the time to develop my own investment thesis and trading plan instead of giving up hours of my life scrolling through twitter for xrp army hopium i decided to dedicate my time to learning the skill of technical analysis 
Now that I know it's not for everyone, but trust me, none of these profitable trades would have happened if it wasn't for me knowing how to navigate these charts. Instead, I would have been psyched out by everyone else's limiting beliefs. That's the truth. And I need to say this now. If you ever come across someone who tells you not to learn a skill and to just follow them instead, please run away from that person as quick as possible because your skills are the only thing that cannot be taken away from you. So never trade off the following others when you could be learning a skill instead. And I know that doesn't benefit what I'm doing here on YouTube, but I'm a real one. And the only thing that actually matters to me is you becoming a self-reliant investor. And I don't want anyone to blindly follow me because here I'm speaking to the ears of leadership and that's you. And what will allow you to unlock your highest potential is developing the skills required to make confident decisions for yourself, your family, and your community. So please take the time to develop your own exit strategy. And if you want an easy to follow guide, you could consider checking out my crypto mastermind over at watersabove.com. That includes my entire exit strategy blueprint for free. And in that exit strategy blueprint, I actually cover literally everything that I personally use to develop my own exit strategy with tutorial videos that are even exposing the levels that I'd be setting my sell limit orders at for this next phase of the bull run into the alt season. So everything you need to know about exiting this market profitably would be covered in that. And to give you some final parting words of wisdom when it comes to an exit strategy and knowing when to take profits is please be realistic. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Use your intuition. Let that guide you as you're, you're, you're developing your skills. So as you're developing these skills, stay intuitive instead of emotional. And when you realize the crowd is being emotional, see if they're being greedy because it's that moment right there that you want to do the opposite of what they're doing. While they're all FOMOing into the top, you want to be exiting quietly. And I know the XRP community can benefit from that most because you guys have definitely proven your patience. I give you that. And I want you and everyone else who's here in this realm of crypto as an esoteric investor to succeed. And please know, with XRP being my second biggest position, then you need to know I'm walking right beside you on this journey. And I'll keep you updated every step of the way. So that's where we'll wrap up today's video. Let's continue to work together so we can thrive together in this matrix. And for those of you who are in our mastermind community over at patreon.com slash waters above, I'll be catching you this Sunday for the what I'm investing in special. I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you soon. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'm wishing you all an amazing rest of your week in the matrix. Much love.